We're here with Jerry Easter at the USA Basketball Junior National Game Camp. Jerry, you had a great day today. Um, showed people your defensive versatility, your your ball handling, your um, ability to score in the open floor. Um, what, what, what was your mindset going into this weekend? Um, my mindset was just going into this weekend, just play hard and just compete and get to learn new things from the coaches because I always have a way to improve on my game. So I just came down here to just get better and compete and play against the best. What was your reaction when you learned you're invited to play at this camp? Uh, I was excited, and my parents was too. Uh, it's just a big opportunity because I didn't expect to come down here, but I did. And I just worked hard to get to this moment, so I was really happy that I got a chance and they invited me down here, and I'm really thankful for that. What was it like walking into the gym and seeing NBA GMs, decision makers, you know, media, you know, the whole basketball industry is really here this weekend. Yeah, um, when I saw them, I was just, I just got to play my game, just play how I always play. Don't worry about it, just, just go out there and go with the flow and just play the right way and go hard in every drill and just get better. And I think I did that today and just, I think I uh, got better and got better as a player today. What can you tell us about yourself, your background, where you're from, that kind of thing? Um, I'm from Toledo, Ohio, born and raised there. Parents raised me there. My mom's from Detroit, though. Uh, but just always wanted to just put my city on the map. And I don't know that many people that have been on the USA team from Toledo. I know people have been on the USA team from Ohio, but not from a small state from Toledo. So I just wanted to put my city on the map, and hopefully I can make the team. And then everybody, because I know my city, they got my back. So if I make the team, that would be really happy. That's my goal, to make the team. And I just want to go better. Any athletes in your family? Uh, well, my parents, of course. Mom played at Michigan in college. My dad played at Youngstown. I got a lot of uncles, a lot of cousins, like, everywhere. Because my dad got a big family, but our whole family, our basketball family, are all athletic. But I can't think of all of them, but we all athletic. And I know everybody in the family plays basketball. What kind of player are you right now? Uh, what kind of player I am? I'm just, just like a, I'm probably like a two-way. Like, I like to play on both ends. Like, a Kawhi Leonard. I like to play defense and offense. But I, lo I mostly like playing defense because that's where I get my points and the steals. Because I get a lot of steals. So, like, that's where I get the easy buckets. But I just like to play defense because that's, that's when we win games. But my offense, I like to shoot and, and drive a lot. So, that's what I like. Where does your toughness come from? My toughness comes from just my dad pushed me. He's been my biggest hater since day one. I just been playing a lot of sports, playing up, like football, I played up in that, basketball. I just been getting pushed by a lot of people. And every like every year, every day I just get better and like this I just this I didn't just get like this. It, it took a lot of work and a lot of like hard days, hard work and all that and I'm just good that everything just got me. Sure. What's the biggest thing you need to work on to reach your full potential? Um, what I need to work on more is communicating with my team and being a leader more. And my jump shot, I need to be a knockdown shooter. I, I make jump shots, but I need to make sure they go in 100%. Who are some guys that you enjoy watching play, either in college or in the NBA? Um, I like, for NBA, like Kyrie Irving and Kawhi Leonard, like I said. And, like, people in college, like the G League, I like Scoot Henderson. I like when he played against that one guy, he's like seven foot. But Victor. He has, yeah, he has a high motor, and I like that. And uh, I think Scoot, he's going to do good when he, uh, in the future when he gets in the NBA. And, uh, yeah, I like his game. But Kyrie mostly because his handles, all that, and he gets his team involved as a leader, and he creates shots for himself. And Kawhi, because he's played on both sides, defense and offense. So that's what I like. Great stuff, man. Thank you so much.